What is your reaction to what happened last night? Well, to tell you the truth, it's really shocking. I mean, it's something that you hear about, you see on television in other cities, but you never think it's coming to Baltimore. What is your reaction to what happened last night? Well, my reaction to this, I think it's awful. Because Martin Luther King, he built up something for the Negro. But this that happened all last night, the Negro has torn down his imagination of what he spent all of his life to build up. And I don't think it was right. If they were intending to show a moan or anything for him, what they should have done is went right on, moan for him, show him that they were not for violence either because he built his life around that violence. That's the way I feel about it. We have taken the following steps to restore law and order in our state. And you may be sure that the situation is under control and under constant vigilance of state and local authorities. We have proclaimed a state of emergency in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. A curfew has been imposed in Baltimore City from 4 p.m. to 6 a.m. and in Baltimore County from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m except for officially approved emergency reasons. I have ordered state offices in Baltimore City and Baltimore County closed at 2 p.m. tomorrow to comply with an early curfew should that be necessary. And I have requested the business community to do the same. State employees who are residents of Baltimore City and County, but who work in other subdivisions will also be released at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Executive orders have been issued prohibiting the sale of alcoholic beverages, firearms, ammunition, flammable materials, and liquids in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. The sale of alcoholic beverages is also banned in Anne Arundel and Powered counties. Every available unit of the Maryland National Guard has been fully mobilized and deployed within the city. In addition, at 6.11 this evening, I requested federal reinforcements to further secure the city. Attorney General Ramsey Clark agreed to immediately dispatch the troops. They should now be taking positions in the critical areas. These steps have been taken to control violence, save lives and property, and to bring about a swift restoration of order. I want to commend the overwhelming majority of our citizens, white and black, who have remained calm in these hours of crisis. I ask you to continue this example, to remain at home and obey the curfew. Even during the daylight hours, I strongly suggest limiting your activities so that your police, National Guard, and fire department may perform effectively. I urge all parents to exercise vigilance over their children. In the affected area, much of the lawlessness to date has been caused by unruly and unsupervised youths. Other youngsters whose conduct has been responsible and admirable could be endangered even by the most innocent sight sightseeing. To all who have been victimized, I pledge to you that all possible power will be exerted to restore order and security to your lives and to assist those made homeless by fire. To those few who loot and burn, we shall show no sympathy, nor will we tolerate those few who would take the law into their own hands. We have local police, state police, and federalized troops on the scene, in control, working effectively. Senator Brewster, you have said that you have been shocked by what has happened in Baltimore. You also said that I am angry. How angry are you? Well, I'm saddened and angered by what has happened. We've marked the death of a man of peace, a man of goodwill, with colossal violence, destruction, and death. I would insist that law and order must prevail, and I'm, of course, angered by the needless, silly, stupid destruction that I've seen in both Washington and Baltimore. I never believed this could happen in our nation's capital or in my city. Senator, as we all know, it has happened. Will the Negro use this as a, as a whip to goad Congress into precipitous action in the areas of civil rights? I do not know what Congress will do, and of course I wouldn't think any responsible body would ever respond to a whip. 
but I don't like to differentiate the non-white community. All responsible Americans must deplore what has happened. There are a few vicious people and some misguided youth that have turned the death of a, a fine man into a carnival of destruction.